episode we finished up at Karajini. Really, really enjoyed it out there. We thought we were all gorged out, but they really are quite unique and quite different to just about anything else we've done so far. So from there, we headed into Tom Price. We did a night there in the caravan park, uh, and we did a little mine tour this morning, which was fantastic for the kids and ourselves. We learned quite a bit as well. Uh, so we opted to take the small shortcut because uh, we're heading towards Exmouth from Tom Price. We'll chuck a map up here now. It adds about 50 k's of dirt to your trip. It takes about half an hour off the trip. We weren't really keen to do any more dirt. We've, we've really had enough of it, to be honest. But the road has generally been really good and the scenery has been amazing. We say in a lot of the videos that you know the drive days are just as good as any other part of this style of travel and today's no different. We've got like stunning mountain views and it's really green out here. And then you've also got the stark contrast of the mines that pop up as you're driving along. It just, um, it's just a different landscape again. So we're really enjoying it. The other part of today we really enjoy is we really don't know where we're gonna end up. So uh, we could be doing a really cool little free camp somewhere. Uh, we might push to Ballara. The goal is to get to, to Ballara tomorrow. Uh, it's about a 400k day, so we'll see how we go. But in the meantime, we've got all this to enjoy. Uh, we'll see you at camp. No fires. We just got all that firewood. <laughs> <laughs> That's so ironic. <laughs> ah. But there's a dump point. That also, we don't need. <laughs> Give us a rundown. Give us a rundown on camp. Skittles. Sure. No, oh. not Can I have one? No, we're not having one. Can we? Are you going to give us a rundown on the camp or not? Yeah. No. It's been a long it's day. It's too hot. Yeah, it's too hot. You like your mother. The heat, the heat really gets to you. Anyway, this is camp. We got our own private little hut. Welcome. Yeah, how good is that? Welcome to the rest stop. Like, this is def <laughs> definitely not the best place we've ever camped, but. Hey, we don't have to get our chairs and tables out. That's right. And we collected firewood today and there's no fire signs everywhere. It was fantastic but we've had enough in the car today and it's nice and clean and we've got our own private little hut with tables and we've got beer and music so that's all we need and there's no one else here so ready rock on <laughs> rock on no, Adam, don't <laughs> well, WA has so many dump points in random places and there's no tap though, so I'm assuming that's a drum with water in it. I could only imagine the state of that. That would not be very nice to use at all. But they are everywhere and so are the bins and they've actually got grates over the bins so birds and animals can't get at them. So thumbs up WA for having really nice clean road stop camps. So I've just arrived at Ballara Station, which is a farm stay. Um, we're pretty excited for this one. We've heard there's some pretty good meals happening at night and um, there's a bottle tree that I'll have to drink a whole bottle of wine and pop the bottle in the tree as my little sure, memento yeah. for the stay. I'm sure you'll struggle <laughs> to do that too. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. Let's go and have a look. Good. Yes, honey, that's fine. <laughs> Always have massive arguments when we're parking the van, don't that, we? That wasn't massive, but <laughs> she's like looking at butterflies when you're trying to reverse back. You gotta tell me what you need me to do, darling. I do, I yell out. Look, this is a really tame version of what just happened, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I didn't get it on video. Oh, that's happy, good. Happy. Yep. Oh, we got to go forward a little bit, do we? All that, you still didn't do it right. Well, why don't you just do it all then? I don't even know what you're trying to do here. Too far? I don't know, it's your call. Are we good? Yeah, we're done. Really? Are you sure? And it's nearly lunchtime, which means I can have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looks nice though, the place. It is pretty cool. Yeah, it's very, it's very, 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 very well country. Um, yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm.
epic spot. Really, really love this about traveling. Uh, people come around for a beer tonight. Couldn't ask for any more. Wow, awesome sunset and uh, good people to have a have a chat and a beer with. This would only be a big weekend for you, wouldn't it? <laughs> I thought you were taking a photo. I did, but <laughs> I reckon you could create your own wall in about two or three weeks, darling. This is nothing, yeah. yeah I could yeah. do this at home easy. You'd have this in a covered. A couple of months, I reckon. Really? All right, sorting out my bottle <laughs> for the tree. today to Turquoise Bay for a snorkel and so has about half of WA I think. <laughs> it was very busy. Um, yesterday was so windy. Today's better but still a little bit breezy down here but apparently today's a mint day. Um, so Looks nice. Yeah. So just down the road from Turquoise Bay is Oyster Stacks and we're here for the afternoon and gonna have a little snorkel around here. A snorkel.
Better now, Wilsey. Yeah. Right, so tyres are down. We've hit the dirt. It's about 50 k's of dirt road to North Lafroy. So our North and South Lafroy experience is about to begin. Been looking forward to this one pretty much ever since we left home. Uh, hopefully the wind stays away. Exmouth wasn't too bad. Uh, we've really enjoyed it in there, but on to the next part of our adventure. Tires down, let's see if we can't go and get bogged getting into camp. We are gonna get bogged. It's bloody soft. Awesome. At least it's only a bus two this time and not a bus one. We'll go down to like low. And see. <laughs> and hope for the best. Awesome. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. How is that? That was Oh man, I was ready to have a whole afternoon of digging. Oh, that's proper soft. It did well. Yeah. Mind you, like, so I'm talking like 13 psi in the van, 13 psi in the front, and 25 in the rear. I didn't want to say how much pressure I had in because I thought I'd about rip the feed off the tire. But oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this is us for four nights. North Lafroy's turned it on. We have no wind this morning. Um, it's currently 10.30, so we thought it would have blown up by now. Caught about five little cod off a lure. Obviously not big enough to, to keep, but um, I don't care. I'd rather eat steak. Catching fish, still catching fish for me. So, wrap this morning. Everyone's in the water. It's perfect. Meigs is out for snorkel. I'm gonna go and join her very shortly. But how, how can you top that? That is 
up there with again one of the best camps we've ever done we're gonna have a lot of those by the end of the trip i think but um yeah it's bloody awesome we got in here yesterday without getting bogged that was even better friends we were traveling with weren't quite so lucky um they got pretty badly bogged but uh not through lack of trying to do everything right it's just bloody soft and you know trying to tow big vans in here it happens so um it kept us off the tins a little bit longer just getting him out out of that bog and then we had something to uh, have a laugh and have a drink about afterwards <laughs> Are we? Winder bandy. <laughs> it's not very windy here though. That's nice here, it's a bit protected. Again, there's plenty of sites that haven't been used, but you go on the online booking thing and it says they're all booked out. <laughs> they're trying to fix it, but and honestly, um, North Lafroy, we're really happy there because you really have no protection whatsoever out here. It isn't too bad at the moment, but it could turn shitty. And, and it's, it's only literally a five minute drive. Yeah, there, only so. five minutes away. So sweet, we'll set cool. up here. Yeah. <laughs> you <wasted>. you asshole. <laughs> yeah. Get you. Get you back. Pretty special here, isn't it? Pretty nice. Beautiful. We need a boat. <laughs> we definitely need a boat. Driven up Yardy Creek, I would say that Yardy Creek crossing it with the caravan would be the absolute easiest part of it. The road all the way back down to Windabandy, I wouldn't recommend doing A. Like, yes, it can be done, but it's, it, yeah, it wouldn't be easy towing a big van through there. You'd scratch the shit out of it. It's corrugated, it's tight, it's windy. Um, getting through the creek itself would be fine, I would imagine. And then also, I mean, it's salt water too, so whether you want to do that or not. But I'm glad we went around, 100%. Yeah, just heading up to the lookout, uh, which is access track straight opposite the Windra Bandy entry, and it is a doozy of a track. <laughs> Very rocky, and um, yeah. It's getting serious now. Yes. Oh my god, this is so steep. <laughs> it is pretty serious. <laughs> This view is worth it, but oh my god, we got to go back down this bloody thing now. That's not I'm what, not looking forward to it. That's not what you just said to me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hate your four-wheel driving little obsession. <laughs> if anyone comes up here, just a reasonably serious hill. Yeah, I will. I will admit that. Bloody made me get out to film. Oh, the things I do, seriously. With the bloody timing. Oh, Don't fall over. I know, I nearly over. just did. Steep, eh? Yeah, very. <laughs> Very windy here today on North Lafroy. We really didn't do too much. 
pretty well hung around the van and um, just stopped. It was good, good to actually be on holidays. Uh, but we'll try for a time lapse because it's pretty cloudy this afternoon and it's been at least a week since I've videoed a sunset. Um, it gets slightly on the road. You never get sick of watching them. So we'll give that a crack this afternoon. She's trying to escape. <gasps> Where are you going? I just delivered milk. Delivered milk? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you deliver milk to? <laughs> Um, B and Matt. Oh. How did they go? How did you go? Did they like the milk? Well, B was making cake and she needed milk and as soon as she said that I turned up. Oh really? And so then it's good timing. Matt was down talking to some people today and down and told him that he can have a coffee in the morning. Oh, was he excited? Yeah. Nice. He had a big smile on his face. Well done. extremely windy overnight um, to the point where we've locked everything up uh, the van was sort of rocking all night from the wind it was pretty crazy we've woken up this morning and the winds uh, eased a little bit but it's still definitely breezy this morning but we're hooking on and we're off to South Lafroy today Hopefully it's only one day. Hectically windy. Finally got a day at um, South Lafroy with no wind. Last two days has been horrendous. Mind you, we're talking to the caretaker and we've become um, pretty well good mates with the caretaker actually, old Bob, he's been really good. And he reckons it's the worst he's seen it in 30 years. Um, if that's right, it really isn't that bad. Everyone says you pretty well can't be here if it's windy. Well, we did and we still had fun. Um, the water's still magic. Like if you get in the water, you don't know if it's windy at all. And the snorkeling is, Probably the best we've seen actually, and the amount of fish life out there is on point. But today we've got no wind, so we're gonna go and spend the whole day on the beach. And um, this this is how beautiful it can be. But, gotta be sun safe, hey? Yes, well I haven't been up until this point, so <laughs> it's time to put some sunscreen on. Straw hat, long shirt, sun cream today. Got the seatbelt on, yep. we're good to go.
So that brings us to the end of our Exmouth, North and South Lafroy and the Ningaloo, and that, that part of the trip is now finished. It's, it's a really sad moment, we really enjoyed it. Yes, we got the wind. Yes, there were shit tons of mice. Yes, we would 100% come back. It was absolutely stunning. The water was magic, even on the windy days. If you can force yourself to get in the water and go snorkeling, it's not windy under the water, so it really doesn't matter. So don't be frightened of what people say about the wind. Um, it's just something you can't control and you just gotta live with it. So we are off to Coral Bay today and start a new part of our adventure. We really don't know, or we haven't planned much from here on in down the coast. So uh, we're excited to see and hopefully you guys are too. So don't forget, you only live once, get out there and enjoy it. See you on the next one.